Deli Alley was one of England's brightest talents. He was being compared to the likes of Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard, and in 2022, he's failed to live up to half the expectations. How has his stocks fallen so badly? If you're not subscribed, make sure you do it now and leave a like. Deli Alley joined MK Dons at 11 and made his first team debut at 16 years old. In the 2013-14 season, he played in 37 games, scored 7 goals, and this is just after he turned 17 years old. As a Liverpool fan growing up, he based his game off Steven Gerrard and it was visible in his goal scoring numbers. In 2014-15, he became a first team starter and started drawing attention from the Premier League top clubs. He played in the famous 4-0 cup victory over Manchester United where a number of scouts were watching him closely. Not long after that game, on the 2nd of Feb, Spurs approached MK Dons and it was confirmed that Ali would move to the North London club for £5 million at the end of the season. He would stay at MK Dons for the remainder of the season though where he won the EFL Young Player of the Season and got his club promoted to the Championship. He netted 21 goals in his last two seasons there. A five-year deal at 19 years old was a lot to handle, but under Pochettino he would be in safe hands. An attacking free system would allow Ali to show down the Premier League and in his first 18 league games he already had 8 goals and assists for the club. He was gifted with a new contract for his great performances and rejected a Nigerian call-up in order to accept an incoming England call-up. Yep. He was playing that well, he was a key player in the England squad at 19 years old. His fire didn't stop burning there as he hit the 10 goal mark and Spurs ended the season in 3rd place. Being one of the talks of the season, Delhi Alley won the PFA Young Player of the Season and scored one of the best goals in Spurs recent history. After the 15-16 season, stocks were high and Spurs looked like a dangerous team. His link with Kane in attack was lethal and he was in hot fire form entering the new year and he won the Premier League Player of the Month for January. He became massively popular especially on social media as he often came up with dance challenges and often streamed on Twitch. He was the English star boy and legends like Lampard and Rooney were praising him to be the next big thing. He ended the season with a record 18 open play goals for a midfielder in the league and won PFA Young Player of the Year yet again. This was a special player and he was still a teenager. At the top of the mountain is different to the bottom and at the top consistency is needed or the only way is down. The second Daily Ali went through a rough patch, he got criticized in media for things like spending too much time on Instagram live. It was unfair on him and he responded well by scoring Champions League goals against Madrid and Chelsea. Overall, he had a good 17-18 season, just a bit less consistent but he was only 21 years old and it was always going to happen. He was included in the squad that travelled to the 2018 World Cup and made it to the semi-finals. Perhaps a move for Ali would have boosted his career, but he felt comfortable at Spurs and signed a new 6 year deal. He still received the media criticism and when on form, people look past it, but when things are not going well, people go for you hard. It happened with Raheem Sterling too, but he proved haters wrong. People started doubting and shoaling Ali and he started picking up injuries during the season. Around this time, he signed a deal for a modeling agency too, which brought a lot of bad attention. In his previous 3 seasons, he played at least 36 of 38 games and he had only played 25 of 38 games this season. It wasn't great, he started being left out of some England camps due to injuries and form and also lost the Champions League final. This would be a sign of things to come. In the next season, Spurs would appoint new boss Mourinho who wanted to get Ali motivated and focused to get his old form back. And it looked like the Delhi Ali of 2017 was back after a purple patch in the first few games, but it was clear Ali wasn't willing to work hard enough and was dropped to the bench for good. In a clip in the All or Nothing doc, Mourinho even calls him out for being lazy in training and sloppy with his passing. 
I was still already there to have a fucking lazy guy in training. His poor conduct with his modeling career and streaming before games led to his reputation of being the next big star go down the drain. He had the talent for sure and it showed in the few minutes he played but he couldn't win back Mourinho's trust. He also got fined for making a joke towards an Asian about coronavirus and didn't register a single league goal that season. He was a shadow of himself. The past three seasons saw him play 65 of 114 league games when in his first three he had played 106 of 114. A massive decrease. Injuries were a factor, but most times he was dropped for his lack of impact and worth ethic. Rooted to the Spurs bench, Ali was linked to PSG to join former manager Pochettino in 2021, but it didn't come about and with Conte taking over Spurs early in the season, a window opened for Ali to make a statement and be in the plans. But ultimately, a man like Conte, who lives for passion and hard work, didn't fancy Ali long term. In January 2022, Ali moved to Everton on loan with a future fee and didn't feature much for them either. From scoring in the Champions League to fighting relegation with Everton in the space of three years, a lack of ambition and comfortability led to Ali making more Twitch appearances than league appearances and it's actually insane to see such a drop off in a footballer's career. To make it worse, Everton who scrapped Premier League survival are looking to sell him within six months of buying him. This shows that no matter how highly rated you are, you need to be focused and work hard to stay at the top or you could easily become a shadow of yourself. Who knows what could have been if things went differently. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Until the next one, peace out.